Hello to this new video. In this video, I start a new series where I create workflows for graphic designer and photographers, which use functionality, which you know from Photoshop or other image editing software. And I integrate it into Comfy UI workflows, which gives us lots of possibilities to use AI features as well as automation and other advantages of a node based software, which Comfy UI offers. In this workflow I created, I will show you some features which the Comfy UI add on layer style brings into Comfy UI. Layer style introduces lots of nice features which you might know from. Photoshop into Comfy UI. In this video, I will use the features like glow, image blending, and some color correction, some color change. And we also use the remove background feature of layer style. This feature is also brought into Comfy UI by other add ons, but today we are using the notes from layer style. We will create this nice image could be used for graphic design, a record cover or something else, maybe for fashion photos for an online shop or something similar. We are feeding those layer style notes, those Photoshop style notes with three possibilities you can choose off. I have a basic flux workflow which can offer the base images for this further editing in the workflow, we can load a single image to pass it through the workflow or we can load a complete folder and with this we can automatize the whole thing and can edit in this way lots of photos or lots of images with one click and it will automize the action for us. We have this uh, foreground image in the bottom. You see here the fashion girl um, in front of a green screen and we have this uh, tropic painting at the background image in this case. We have a second basic flux workflow here and also we can load an image and we can load a folder of images. So this is the basic workflow and I will now show you the layer nodes and what they do in detail. I will upload this workflow to my Patreon and you can get it with the base membership. I will do more videos on the use of the layer style nodes in the future and I also will create a playlist where you can find more videos like this. Okay, so the basic workflow is creating or loading of the background image and creating or loading of the foreground. For the foreground image, I use the layer mask Ram BG Ultra, which is removing our background. You can see it here. And I also use the layer color HSV node, hue, saturation and value for brightness. And we are reducing the saturation to minus 255 to make the image grayscale. You can see the result here. So after that, we are doing a first image blend. And this gives us the possibility to make an image overlay like a node from Photoshop. In this case, we are using the screen type overlay. So we are filling in our background image here and the foreground image into the layer image port. Let's have a look at the result here. We have a slight overlay in white over our background image. Then we pass this result into another layer style node to give the model an outer glow. Let's have a look at this also. You can see the result here. It's overlaying our foreground image and give it an additional outer glow, which I really like. So we are using the screen blend mode again here. We have a brightness of five. The glow range is 15 and the blur is quite big, is 337. Play around with those values depending on the effect you like. And here we can define the color the glow should be. I have this kind of orange here and I really like how it let the model glow. In the next step, we use another type of image blend to let the background shine again through the model in the foreground. In this case, we are simply using a normal blend mode 
and putting the opacity to 40 and you can see the result here you have to play around with this maybe put it to 56 let's see the result or let's try 28 it really depends on uh, what effect you're aiming for this layer style thing is something i missed in ai image generation for some time and i was happy to discover the layer style notes because it pushes the level of uh, abstraction you can add to your images to a higher level and it gives you a way to work much more artistically with your generated images and give it your individual touch by changing colors using photoshop effects using those layer styles this blending effects i showed you this can be done for a whole folder of images or for an endless stream of generations so in this image blend notes you can find i think almost all the blending modes you can use in photoshop to overlay your image layers in different algorithm you can lighten up your images you can simply overlay it you can calculate the difference and those over blending styles really give you lots of possibilities for creative exploration you can do lots of great things with it you can load other layer mask notes by add note dz notes and there you have layer mask layer utility different layer mask layer utilities you can crop you can uh, you can create gradients and so on you can put some effects onto your images like watercolor soft light motion blur and so much more you can adjust the color, the brightness and the levels and you can do color overlay, outer glow or you can do drop shadows, which is interesting for text graphics. For example, if you want to add some more effects on it. Yeah, we will explore those features in future videos. But for now, this example for a simple image blending and adding some glow to get some more graphic design look in your generations and that's it for now all the needed custom notes will be linked in the description below as always so comfy UI layer style you also need the vas note suit that should be it with the custom notes so check out the description below we will explore this add-on more in the future so stay tuned and subscribe to the channel that you don't miss anything. If you like a special type of thing you're missing in ComfyUI, which you have to do always in Photoshop, something which would make your work much easier, put it in the comments below and I will do a video about it and create a workflow for it. So this workflow will be available on my Patreon with a base membership. Stay tuned for the next workflows, for the next videos. Hope you like the video. I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.